So, B, you guys want to hear a story? The story is not of a tard. In the Netherlands where I live, tards go to special schools, but about an Asperger like no other. His name was Romer, pronounced as Rumor in English. Be in new school in seventh grade because in Holland everyone has to switch schools after sixth grade. Be in kind of a boring new school class, but it's okay. Run into Rumor Kid every day, always sitting alone during lunch. He'd often run around the school crying. Never really paid any attention to him. Three months later, our class is going to get a new student. Rumor walks in. His old class supposedly made his life hell. All the guys in the class, mind you, this is the early seventh grade, are trying to talk to him during lunch break. The fucker doesn't respond. Your problem, dot JPG. I'm talking to my friends and get a bottle of coke to drink. While drinking, he starts hitting the underside of my bottle so I almost spill my drink. Hey, Rumor, fuck off, one of my friends says. Rumor does his signature move for the first time. While sitting, putting his left hand under his right leg, his right hand under his left leg, and lifting his ass cheeks up in turns while doing a laugh that sounds like a skipping record. After that, he starts drinking himself. He was always drinking out of a bottle that seemed to be blue originally, but had turned brownish after a lot of use. I do the same to him as he did to me. Water splashes all over him. He goes into a rumor rage, something we referred to as de rumerbo. Don't ask me why. He throws his backpack at me. He has the biggest school backpack I have ever seen, like those things backpackers pack tents in. Knowing that if I backed off I would be knocked over, I throw my full weight against it. The thing knocks him over. Suddenly I see what happened. He was lying on the floor with the water bottle jammed into his mouth. Jammed in so deep he starts puking. All the while the bottle is still jammed down his throat, the teacher comes running towards us. Oh fuck, rumor, not again. I don't get into trouble. This is just the first of many stories, and this is also one of the least crazy ones. But remember, every epic has a beginning. We'll post more. The Rumor Saga, Part 2, Rumor Rising. A week after Part 1, we find out Rumor is good at math. And when I say good, I mean seriously fucking good. Not important now, but will come into play later. Two guys sitting behind him start fucking with him during biology class. Poking in his back with pens, etc. Rumor rightfully tells them to fuck off. One guy starts saying that Rumor's dad is both his grandpa and his dad. We found out Rumor's dad was in his 70s. Romerbo time. Rumor jumps over his table, Rumor always sat in the front of the classroom, and grabs a broom standing against the wall. Die, you fucking niggers, die! We would find out Rumor fucking hates niggers. Starts hitting them with a broom. One guy is crying on the floor. Hits the other guy so hard the broom breaks. The teacher walks in. She was copying papers or something. What is happening here? Rumor goes full fucking Super Saiyan and runs out of the class like a bull. All of my what.jpg. The guys who got hit with the broom are the ones who get into trouble. I thought Rumor would get expelled, but this was only the beginning. The Rumor Saga Part 3 how can you kill that which has no life? Plans to take down Rumor are starting to be made. One guy proposes the stealing of his math books. That's actually kind of good, dot JPEG. We get the same guy to steal his books. The kid is a fucking wimp, like four and a half feet tall and has red hair and freckles. Even Rumor doesn't see him as a threat. Hey Rumor, can I see your math books? The same math books as me? I know, but I forgot mine. Okay, here you go. What we didn't know yet is that the ginger dwarf was also a fucking moron. <laughs> I got your books. Dude, that wasn't the part of the plan, dot JPEG. Rumerbo activated. Rumor jumps the guy and fucking starts biting him in his arm. Turns out Rumor is half pitbull or something because the midget can't get him off. 
The little redhead brought it on himself. We're not helping him. Rumor suddenly lets go and grabs his books. Then he goes back to his seat and starts reading them as if nothing happened. The Rumor Saga Part 4. Friend or Foe? A few weeks later, out of fucking nothing, Rumor suddenly starts sitting together with us during our lunch breaks. Luckily, every single one of us understands that this could be funny as hell if done right. One of my friends, possibly the friendliest motherfucker I've ever met, actually takes him to his house one day. Shows him Super Smash Bros. Melee. This will, about a year later, be a vital element of probably the biggest lulls I've ever had in my life. Rumor goes to school the next day and is suddenly a Super Smash Brothers expert, even though he doesn't own a GameCube. Then later we have what I think was history class and we were watching Disney's Hercules. We're not watching it for fun, but to see the difference between pop culture and what really happened, even though the Greek mythology, well awesome, is fiction. In the movie, Hercules causes wreckage to some shit. Rumor starts doing his signature move I described in the first post. This time he's not stopping. Hey Rumor, it wasn't that funny. Rumor keeps getting louder, he's already going for about two minutes now. Teacher walks towards him and asks if he's okay. Suddenly Rumor jumps up. This is gonna be good, not JPG. Romer goes fucking Dovahkiin on the teacher's ass, shouting and laughing into his face maniacally at volume levels previously unheard. Suddenly, Rumor sits down with a straight face. He screams, What are all you fuckers looking at? What do you guys always have to try to get me? I don't know what the fuck is going on, Dot JPEG. Now we are seriously fucking scared of Rumor. We already knew he was an Aspie, but he seems to be some kind of psychopath, too. The Rumor Saga Part 5, Party Hard. It's Pak Jessavond in the Netherlands, a Dutch holiday where a guy named Sinterklaas brings kids presents. Santa Claus was based off of this. With our class and the teacher that guides the class, every class has a so-called mentor, who helps with trouble between students and helps you if you have trouble at home, etc. We celebrate it by making so-called surprises, which are like the name hints, usually boxes made out of usually paper mache designed after someone's interests and you don't know who made it. In it is always a small present. Considering we're all around 12 or 13, we don't really know everyone that well yet. Basically, all of them suck. Rumor gets the worst of all. Two fucking socks rolled up with a present in it. Rumor is fucking quiet until the end of the celebration when we all hear who made whose surprise. Some girl has made rumors. Rumor walks up to her without any emotions on his face. Rumerbo mode activated. Starts throwing punches to her face. Teacher gets him off of her. Rumor spits in teacher's face and runs out of the classroom. Teacher goes after him. After five minutes, Rumor is standing in the doorway with the creepiest facial gaze I've ever seen. Like the intro shot to A Clockwork Orange. The gaze is so creepy it takes me about five seconds to realize he's butt naked. Without doing anything, he suddenly walks away. Never were we offered an explanation. The Rumor Saga Part 6 fat, 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 fat. Rumor wasn't allowed to be at school for about two weeks after the previous incident. Fast forward three weeks, during shop class, I start talking to Rumor so he doesn't notice someone is tying his shoelaces together so he'll fall when he tries to stand up. Considering we're in seventh grade and Rumor is about the single least sexual person in human history, I think it's funny to start talking about fapping. Do you know, like, do you ever get an erection and, like, stroke it until you lose it? He starts his signature butt dance. Uh, yes, yes I do. I did not expect this answer. Do you have an internet connection? He asks. Mind you, not every 12 or 13 year old had an internet connection back then. No, but my dad's computer does. My computer does. You can watch porn on the internet. I heard. I always watch big black ladies online. I start regretting that I asked him about it. There's this really cool masturbation technique I discovered. Want to see it? No, I'd rather not. He unzips his pants and stands up. Remember the laces? 
Rumor falls flat on his face, his dick sticking out. Teacher just stands there, fucking flabbergasted. Rumor starts pissing his pants because of all the attention. Too bad he's not wearing pants. I can just dodge his fucking piss stream. The teacher doesn't care to come near him because Rumor just keeps on pissing. Class dismissed. Rumor does the gaze again while we're all walking out of the classroom. I'm scared as fuck he'll go Rumerbo on my ass one day too. The Rumor Saga Part 7. Asperger's can be heroes too. Sitting in the cafeteria, some annoying midget from Rumor's old class starts bugging Rumor. He slaps Rumor. He does not know Rumor can control his powers now. If you think going Super Saiyan is cool, you should have seen this Rumerbo. Rumor grabs a chair, uses it like a fucking battering ram against the guy's body. Rumor beats the fucking shit out of him. The mentor of Rumor's old class sees everything. Suddenly walks away, guess she hated the midget too. Out of fucking nowhere, some much older kids show up. They take the midget and put him into a large round trash can. Midget goes to another school next week. Everybody fucking loves Rumor that day. This was a very important event, because Rumor's confidence level went way up. Something that will cause more major lulls. The Rumor Saga, Part 8. Accidents happen. Starting in the spring, gym class is now outside. While cycling back to school, our crappy school doesn't have its own football field or something, Romer proposes a race. Some guys who do bicycle racing in their free time accept. First they let Romer be in first place, but then they start with their real cycling pace. One decides to hit Romer on his shoulder while cycling past him. Bad decision. Romer forgets about with great power comes a great responsibility and activates Rumerbo speed. Rumor closes with one of the guys and jumps off his bike onto him. The guy goes down. Rumor gets his bottle out of his backpack. Remember this. He forgot it was me, not him, not JPG. Rumor fucking jams the bottle down his throat. Luckily, before the guy started puking, someone pulled Rumor off of him. Rumor is still in Romerbo and jumps on his bike and speeds off in the distance. We all cycle to school. Just before we reach school, we see some of the girls in our class on the road, standing still. Then we see on the road in front of them is a bike lying on the hood of a car. The girls hadn't seen the accident, but the car driver said the cyclist had run away. Back then, nearly everyone rode the same bike, so it could have been anyone. We get back to school, Rumor is nowhere to be found. Once we reach math class, Rumor is sitting there studying. Teacher says Rumor said some of us did some horrible things to Rumor. Almost everyone got into trouble, but not me. Although half of us are in class the rest of the day. Things might have been weird, but the day became truly golden when I saw Rumor going home by foot instead of by bike. The Romerbo Saga Part 9, Party Hard 2. The little redhead midget I mentioned earlier was having a party and he invited almost anyone. Rumor realizes the guy who was throwing the party has a GameCube with Smash Bros. Rumor just plays with Captain Falcon. Have you ever seen anyone who looked that cool? Rumor is fascinated by the Falcon Punch. At the time, unknown to me, Rumor starts incorporating it into his Romerbo technique. It will take him about a year to learn, but it will bring epic lulls later on. We go outside to play some soccer. Suddenly, niggers. Remember, Romer hates niggers. Rumor does his fucking gaze. Niggers start laughing at him. Forgive them, father, for they know not what they are doing. Rumor punches one in the face. The niggers turn out to not be so cool and run away. Rumor runs after him. We don't really like Rumor, so carry on playing soccer. <laughs> Rumor returns 20 minutes later. He suddenly has an MP3 player. We all go inside. Not much rumor happens for a while. It was some kind of sleepover party. In true Asperger fashion, rumor falls asleep first. Guy gets some shaving foam. Rumor has a sweet new beard. Then rumor wakes up. What is that on my face? Is that shaving foam? Rumor runs upstairs crying. 
The ginger midget's mom and stepdad are fucking assholes and don't give a shit about a screaming kid in their home. Suddenly, a rumor comes back. That gaze.jpg. We all know we're fucked. We're in a fucking basement with fucking Alex from A Clockwork Orange deciding our fate. Rumor runs in and punches one guy in the face. Not even the one that did the foam thing, dot JPG. I jump behind a couch. It was a pretty big basement with some shit in it. It's dark and Rumor doesn't see it. I hear sounds of war. Suddenly the stepdad comes downstairs. I want to sleep. What is going on at- What the fuck are you doing? From what I've been told, I have not seen it myself because I was dodging the onslaught. Rumor was biting the head of one of the teddy bears from the midget's little sister. Okay, kids, settle down. Just come upstairs to cool down. You don't ask a volcano to cool down, dot JPG. Rumor becomes the dragonborn and does an epic scream. The stepdad is startled. Rumor then runs upstairs. Rumor was taken to his home. He had harmed quite a few of the other guys. I don't want to support cowardice, but what I did was the right thing. Outside during gym class, Rumor isn't that bad at sports. Some kid pulls on Rumor's shirt during soccer. Shirt partially rips. Gym teacher says we have to assemble. Rumor is suddenly gone. After five minutes, Rumor returns with two spears used for throwing. Foo's Rumor da. He starts screaming, rips his shirt entirely, throws it on the ground, grabs a spear in each hand, fucking charges. Instead of using them to stab us, he puts them in the ground in front of him, to use them as if he's pole vaulting. Rumor is fucking flying. Kicks the guy who ripped his shirt in the face with both feet. Lands on the ground like goddamn Batman. Rumor goes home. We're in 8th grade now. Rumor always has fights with another Aspie in our class, Meal... Me Mealy? Melly? Mel. Although Mel is like 11 years old, skipped a few grades, and annoying as fuck, he's nowhere as noticeable as Romer. Still, they always sit next to each other in the front of the class. During what I think was Latin or something, Mel starts crying. His hamster died or something. Rumor does his signature butt boogie. Mel runs out of the classroom. Rumor doesn't get into trouble. Fast forward 30 minutes. During lunch break, Mel returns with two sword-like things made out of used toilet paper cartons. Let's battle! He screams after he throws Rumor one of the swords. Our hero doesn't even need to activate Romerbo to beat Mel. Mel leaves. Rumor starts screaming how much he hates Mel. Starts moshing or something. Then something strange happens. He attacks himself using Romerbo, but also defends himself using Romerbo. I seriously thought the world was about to explode. People start crowding because it looks like he's having a seizure. Rumor is spinning in circles on the floor. I fucking hate Mel! I will kill him and his future husband! LOL Romer made a gay joke about Mel.jpg. Suddenly, fart sound. Rumor has shit his pants. Runs away crying. To this day, I wonder what the fuck happened. The Rumor Saga Part 12. It's science. Everyone in 8th grade has to do a special class on Tuesday afternoon. You can choose from sports, musical, and science. I choose science. Of course, Rumor is there too, together with two much older guys who had to redo grades, and heard that you get the most trips from science class. For the first trip, we go to Amsterdam, to a science museum called Nemo. One of the older guys, James, has to show the group the route, because the teachers are fucking dipshits. Suddenly, everyone from the group is gone except for James, Rumor, and me. James is high as fuck. Rumor starts panicking. We first were walking around Amsterdam before going to Nemo, and we're on Didam now. If you've ever been to Amsterdam, you know that there's a shitload of living statues and other street artists over there. Rumerbo, on. Rumor picks a fight with a living statue. The living statue doesn't want to punch a kid, so tries to dodge Rumor. He is not aware of Rumor's speed. Rumor is on the guy's back, screaming. The guy falls on his face with Rumor still on his back. James screams, Hey dude, someone get that squirrel off the guy's back! I suddenly realize how much Rumor looks like a squirrel. Suddenly, police. Rumor gets arrested. 
we didn't get to go to Nemo. The Rumor Saga Part 13, You Sexy Thing. Sitting in history class, some guys in my class are fucking with Rumor, asking him why he doesn't have a girlfriend. I make the joke, Rumor doesn't have a girlfriend because he just fucks him. Rumor starts dancing with his ass. One of the guys says she has to ask Rumor out to school dance on Friday. She actually doesn't. Rumor understands that it's not serious. Girls keep bugging him, he agrees in the end. Fast forward to Friday morning, mind you, that I had nothing to do with organizing this. Rumor arrives with girl. He's doing great, dot JPEG. Later in the evening, Rumor asks the girl if she wants to fuck him. She doesn't. Rumor gets really fucking upset. But I brought you some presents! Jesus Christ, this guy is beta. Rumor walks away. Dance is near end, some people have left. Girl is still there. Rumor returns. He's not wearing pants. Spinning his tiny pubeless dick like the girl with the ball in Kill Bill Volume 1. Romero activated. He starts slapping people with his dick. Chaos ensues. Nobody wants to fight a guy with a spinning dick. Rumor gets near the girl. Do you want to marry me? Teacher shows up out of nowhere and grabs Rumor. No, no, don't embarrass me in front of my wife! The image of that pantless boy being carried out of the school gymnasium will never leave my mind. The Rumor Saga Part 14. Fail once, fail forever. I haven't really told about the seriously good grades Rumor always gets. He studies hard. If he's really smart, I don't know. I just know he remembered things real well. This day, after a reading test, Rumor failed. 5.5 is a pass. Rumor got 5.2. Rumor starts crying. Hey, Rumor, it's not that big a deal. I don't think I need to tell what was activated. You don't own anything! That's why you are a teacher instead of a writer! Owned, dot JPG. Teacher doesn't say anything. Rumor starts doing his gaze. Teacher doesn't see it. Rumor grabs a red pen. Grabs some of the teacher's stuff. Do you like it when I write with a red pen on your things? Do you? Teacher tries to get Rumor off her stuff. Too bad she's an old lady and Rumor is a demigod. Rumor pushes her away. All oh, you people, you have no idea what kind of power flows through my veins! Every time I think about him actually saying that, it gets funnier. In some kind of brainwave of utter stupidity, I scream, Use the force, Rumor! Rumor starts gazing. Oh shit, nigga.jpg. Suddenly he starts laughing. Sits back in his seat and starts working. Teacher is still on the floor. Papers are still everywhere. Everyone is still in shock, except for Romer. He's just chillin'. The Rumor Saga Part 15. The Science of Stupidity. Another trip with science class. We go to the science museum in Belgium to make up for last time. It's like Nemo, but much bigger. For some reason, we first go to the zoo. Everything is fine until it's time to walk around freely, without a guide. Turns out Rumor fucking loves monkeys. I like monkeys too, everyone likes monkeys. One of the monkey rocks is open, no fence, but is surrounded by water so that the monkeys can't leave. Contains a shit ton of tiny monkeys. Suddenly hear the sound of splashing water. Rumor is swimming towards the rock. Oh shit, dot JPG. Rumor reaches the rock, tries to grab a monkey. Rumor gets frustrated because the monkeys are fast as fuck. Rumerbo speed. Rumor chases the monkey. Monkeys become hostile. What the fuck is happening, dot JPEG? Rumor is standing on the rock, punching all the monkeys that come close to him. Seriously, it's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. People start crowding around to see the monkey man. Monkeys start winning. Rumor gets pulled to the ground by monkeys. Zoo staff reach the rock. Rumor gets up. He doesn't need their help. He's taken away. We never heard what happened to him in the zoo. Later, Rumor is released. No monkeys bit him. Off to the museum. It's not really a museum, but more of an experiment lab aimed at kids. Pretty sweet, not JPEG. There's a game where two people both have to put their head in a metal device and then it measures your brain power or something. Complete bullshit, of course. 
I go against Rumor. I actually win. Rumerbo. Rumor starts trashing the place. Rumor suddenly runs off. There is this room in the museum which is completely dark, so that you can measure the effect of prolonged darkness on your eyes or something. It's seriously pitch black in here. Rumor has gone into that room. Staff member after member go in to find Romer. Not a single one is successful. One gets the genius idea to get flashlights. Hey kid, where are you? Like a fucking horror movie, Rumor jumps on him. Rumor starts taking the guy's shirt off. Wait, what? Dot JPEG? Other employees try to grab Rumor. They do not know Rumor is in Rumerbo. Rumor flees. There are these things you can use to put yourself in a soap bubble, kind of hard to explain. Rumor hides in the soap bubble. Starts gazing. Employees simply bust the bubble and grab Rumor. No! Once again, Rumor is screaming. And that concluded the day. The Rumor Saga Part 16, Party Hard 3. One guy gives sleepover party. I know, gay as fuck, all the guys from the class are invited. Rumor also. In the evening, we all eat pizza. Rumor orders a Pizza Hawaii. You can do all you want for all I care. Everything except for ordering a fucking Pizza Hawaii. I want to hold in my laugh because I don't want to make fun of him. Another guy starts laughing uncontrollably. What is your problem? Rumor screams. Guys start laughing even harder. Is it because of my night braces? What night braces is he talking about, Dot JPEG? Suddenly, Rumor walks to his bag and gets out the craziest braces I have ever seen. Like those big ass metal things that go around your head you see in cartoons. We're all shocked we didn't know about that thing. After dinner, some guys start jumping on the trampoline in the garden, Rumor included. While well, Rumor is in the air, some douchebag pushes him. <laughs> rumor lands next to the trampoline. Fuck with the Rumor and you get the horns, dot JPEG. Rumor attacks. We are able to calm Rumor down for a few seconds. Suddenly, someone gets the best idea I've ever heard. The plan is rather simple, but brilliant. The trampoline is huge and on some really high legs underneath it. Because that is way too dangerous, a big hole is dug where the trampoline stands in so that it's level with the ground. The idea is to lift the trampoline out of the ground and use the hole as a gladiator arena. We can bet on the contestants. We can also throw weapons into the arena. Rumor starts against the guy who pushed him. The guy who pushed him is the single most arrogant person I've ever met. He's also the single most wimpy person I've ever met. Bets are made, weapons are collected, are you ready to rumble? Arrogance activated. Romerbo activated. Rumor beats the absolute shit out of him with plastic swords we throw into the ring. The onslaught is extreme beyond belief. The douchebag is crying in the corner of the arena. We yell at Rumor to piss on him. Rumor does. The douchebag now knows Rumor is not to be fucked with. At the time, we don't know that the real glory won't come until night falls. For some reason, we're camping in the garden. Don't ask me why. Sitting in our tents talking, we suddenly hear a couple of guys laughing. Hey nigga, what the fuck you doing? <laughs> He's touching Romer's dick. <laughs> Turns out the guy who got pissed on in the arena wanted to clamp Romer's night braces onto Romer's dick. Rumor had, in true Aspie fashion, fallen asleep prematurely and forgot to put in his braces. Too bad someone spotted him right when he was touching Rumor's cock. Because of all the noise, Rumor wakes up. Insta Romerbo. Punches Mr. Douchebag in the face while his dick is still hanging out. His jimmies are about to get rustled real fucking bad. Rumor jumps on him. Wanna see my dick? Here's my dick! Rumor brutally slaps him in the face with his dick. No one stops Rumor. It was glorious. The douchebag starts puking. Rumor jumps away. The guy starts running away. Rumor rides on the wind after him. Rumor tackles him. Douchebag boy starts begging for mercy. Rumor leaves him be, the ultimate defeat. Rumor is a god for us, but he still ordered that fucking pizza Hawaii. The Rumor Saga Part 17, When You Wish Upon a Star Another trip was science class, we're going to the Dutch Space Museum. We're going there in the crappiest little van I have ever seen. 
We arrive at the museum. Rumor wants to get out first. Falls out of the van, flat on his face. He's crying. I'm seriously not in the mood for this, Dot JPG. We go inside. Rumor is running down some stairs. Falls again. Shit, Rumor, what is your problem? Rumor starts gazing. It's okay, sorry. Guy giving tour has a laser pen. Turns out Rumor fucking loves laser pens. Can I use your pen? No, I need it for the tour. Can I have it later? Maybe. The tour is done. Can I have your pen now? Okay, uh, just for the moment, I guess. Rumor points it right in the eye of the tour guide. Hey, come here, you little shit! Jedi Romerbo activated. Rumor is running around shooting with the laser pen. Die, 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 die! Rumor was caught and his name was written down. If the tour guide had any eye damage, Rumor had to pay. We leave in the van. Suddenly it breaks down. Rumor doesn't like vans that break down. Romerbo moshing. I wish I could have seen the absolute horror on our faces when Rumor started to break down that van. No one can stop Rumor. We all get out of the van except for one kid named Dane. Dane is praying for mercy on the hands of this golden god. Dane is about to get clobbered when the bus driver kicks Rumor in the ass. Rumor is terrified. Romero off. I swear to god if that bus driver hadn't kicked him, charges would have been pressed against Rumor. The Rumor Saga Part 18, Falcon Punch. We have a new teacher for gym class. It's the least sports-like woman you'll ever meet. She looked kind of like Amy from Big Bang Theory. She's also a fucking bitch. She hates Rumor. We're playing hockey. Rumor slaps a girl in a mini Rumerbo. Teacher says Rumor did this out of hate for women. Not even close, JPG. Rumor gets fucking mad and starts his Dragonborn routine. Teacher goes fucking nuts. She tells Rumor to go home. Rumor doesn't want to go home. She says she'll call his parents. In a little room, there's a phone on the wall she wants to use. To make fun of Rumor, she walks into the middle of the class. It's a cordless phone and starts typing on the phone number. That bitch forgot that on the plains of oblivion there can only be one. Rumor has been training his powers for a long time. Remember his fascination with the falcon punch? Rumor fucking charges. Romerbo of the gods, I summon thee. Falcon punch. Rumor punches her in the cunt so fucking hard she faints. People have heard what happened. There are a few gymnasiums located next to each other where other teachers teach. Other gym teachers walk in. Rumor is just standing there, doing his gaze. The Rumor Saga, Part 19. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. We're going to the zoo again with science class, the final trip. Mel is bugging Rumor. Mel is also in science class. Rumor has to pee and Mel is making water sounds. We're sitting in a bus that doesn't have a bathroom. Rumor pisses his pants. This shit is gonna be crazy. Rumor fucking breaks down. Beasts also have emotions. Mel starts laughing. Teacher notices something has happened and confronts Mel. While the teacher is talking to Mel, Rumor walks to the front of the bus. Rumor tries to get the door open. Hey, Rumor, you can't do that! You can't tell me what to do! Rumor tries to smash in the door. Those doors are tough as fuck. Rumor gets pulled away from the door. He has to sit all the way in the back in between two teachers. It's one of those buses with five seats next to each other. Rumor is just doing the gaze. We reach artists. LOL, Rumor is not allowed to come close to the monkeys. JPG. Rumor goes to the aquariums. He starts hitting the glass. Fishes don't give a fuck. Suddenly, Rumor backs off a bit. Rumero time. Rumor runs straight into the fish tank. To this day, I have no idea what he was trying to achieve. Blood is on the tank. Rumor is lying on the floor. Suddenly, he gets up and starts screaming, Don't touch me! Rumor runs away. We all try to find him. In Artis, there are some dinosaur sculptures. Rumor is sitting on the head of the T-Rex. Don't come near me, I'll kill you! One guy suddenly starts yelling, Jump! 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 More and more people start yelling. Rumor seems fucking stressed. 
People from Ardis start climbing the dinosaur. Rumor punches one of them flat in the face. The guy falls off. More and more people are crowding while Rumor kicks everyone's asses. They have gotten a ladder. He's now being attacked from two sides. They are about to grab him. Rumor performs a leap of faith off the dinosaur. He does not stand up. He didn't die, but he was injured and had to be taken away. This was the last time we were allowed to go on a trip. The Rumor Saga Part 20. What is love? We have a new gym teacher because the other one had to go to the hospital for surgery. If it was related to a Rumor Falcon punching her in the cunt, I don't know. Another woman. Rumor is obsessed with her. If it's love, I don't know, but he wants to fuck. Starts telling us fucked up stories about fucking her. I do not want to know, dot JPEG. I will fuck her, guys, I will! You go, stud. Gym class time. Rumor keeps staring at her butt. Teacher begins to notice. Rumor suddenly needs to go to the bathroom. He doesn't return. After class, we go back to the dressing rooms. In the male dressing room, there is a door which leads to the male bathroom. Grunts are heard from inside. Oh shit, please don't be true, dot JPEG. Rumor starts grunting louder and louder. Hey, Rumor, are you fapping in there? Romero activated. We suddenly realize that the bathroom door is the gate of hell. We can hear Satan scream from behind it. Run, you fools, dot JPEG. Rumor bursts out, pants up, luckily. Rumor performs pile driver like technique on someone, takes his shirt off. His invisible abs show. We all run. As soon as we're out of the dressing room, Rumor runs the other way. Look what he's doing. He's back in the gymnasium. The teacher notices him. Hey, Rumor, what are you doing? Rumor leaps towards her, starts hugging her. She might be a gym class teacher, but she is not strong enough to repel Rumeribo's strength. She pisses her pants. Rumor starts screaming. Jumps off of her and looks up, starts screaming even louder. Teacher is so scared she crawls away. I seriously expect him to sink back into hell or something. Rumor suddenly faints. After a few seconds, he starts shaking. Big dark spot forms around his crotch area. I don't know if he pissed himself or if he came. Lie still. We don't tell anyone about it. Substitute teacher immediately went home after and doesn't want to teach here anymore. She also told no one. They don't find Rumor until a few hours later. Rumor says he can't remember anything. We say we haven't seen anything. We never find out if he was actually fapping. We never find out if he was actually trying to rape her. The Rumor Saga Part 21 Rumor being High School Massacre English class. Everyone has to form groups of four and have a presentation about English culture. Mind you, we're in the Netherlands, not England or the US. Rumor's group has to do their presentation today. This gonna be good, not JPG. They start talking. Rumor has the worst English accent you will ever hear. English is the only thing in school he isn't good at. Teacher starts laughing at him. She was a fucking bitch, though. Yeah, well, I might have shitty pronunciation, but at least I don't have a bigger mustache than my dad! She did have a mustache. Rumor, please calm down or you will be suspended. Yeah, we'll see about that. You people won't be alive at the end of the day. Rumor runs. Shit breaks loose, but authorities aren't informed. School doesn't take Rumor seriously. It would be impossible if it happened in 2012. Is that really how old this is, damn? People around the school checking for threats, though. Two hours later, class on the second floor. Someone is looking out the window. Oh shit, it's Rumor. Everyone storms to the window. There's Rumor. He has a gun. Too bad it's a super soaker. We see people who work at the school storming towards Rumor. Rumor bow fire. Rumor starts running away. They keep chasing him. The sight of a bunch of adults chasing a kid with a super soaker is fucking hilarious. Rumor is fast as lightning. Rumor doesn't see a cyclist coming from his right. Rumor is smacked to the ground. Starts shooting with his gun. Faintly, we hear a scream. You'll never take me alive! Sadly, it never made the news. At school, super soakers are now banned in the same way real guns and knives are. The Rumor Saga Part 22, Rockstar. 
Rumor was suspended from school for a month. Nobody wants to talk to Rumor because everyone is scared of him now. Rumor has a plan to win our hearts back. Music class. First, everyone has to perform a song. You could choose out of three songs, don't remember any of them. A couple of really fat girls have to go first. Rumor is doing this weird thing behind his table while watching them, as if he's giving head to an invisible cock. He's gazing at the fat chicks. Rumor and Mel have to perform next. Rumor starts fucking up. Mel throws his guitar at Rumor. Rumor goes Super Saiyan, but is able to calm down. If only we knew what was about to happen. Teacher announces that Rumor is about to do a solo performance. Rumor stands in front of the class. Tells us he has written a song so that we know he is nice. Don't let this be true, .jpg. Rumor starts singing. I'm really smart and funny and why won't you like me? I'm cool, why won't you like me? Suddenly stops singing. Starts trembling. Suddenly fart sounds. Rumor is wearing shorts. Shit shoots out of his pants. Insane smell. People start puking. Rumor starts screaming, Why won't you like me? Shit just keeps coming. Almost everyone is puking. Rumor walks up to one of the fat girls, jumps on her lap. Why won't you like- Girl starts puking on Rumor's face. Rumor falls to the ground, hands covering his face while screaming. Music classroom is soundproof. No one outside hears the horror. People start running to the door, me included. We run. We still hear screams of, Why don't you like me? in the background. Check up on the classroom after five minutes. Rumor is crawling out in a trail of puke, shit, and piss. Teacher is nowhere to be found. Do you like me now? Girl faints. Did she faint for me? People start to crowd around the classroom. They see Rumor crawling there. Someone yells, Hey, it's the Falcon Punch guy! Rumor starts laughing and tries to butt boogie. He fails and passes out. I then realize this must have been part of the performance. Rumor passed out in a pool of shit, piss, and puke with a crowd around him. Like a true rock star. The Rumor Saga Part 23. To Infinity and Beyond. We're doing some tests outside for science class. James and another older guy light a blunt when the teacher leaves for a while. Rumor doesn't approve. Hey, you guys shouldn't do that. You're too young and you can't do that during school. James and fuckface number two just stare at Rumor. Romero activated. Rumor starts attacking them. But even though Hercules was powerful, he could not take down a titan alone. The two guys pick him up and carry him away. It looks like two trolls carrying a damsel in distress. The teacher comes back. James and McFuckface drop Romer. They are taken away. Now on to the test. The test consists of shooting rockets made out of bottles in the air. I don't remember if we did it with water or air pressure. Rumor can go first because of the incident earlier. I don't know what kind of logic that is. Rocket is applied to takeoff station. Ready for takeoff? Turns out the kid who was supposed to build the takeoff station did a pretty shitty job. Takeoff station topples over. Rocket is shot with full force into Romer's face. Romerbo. But wait. Teacher grabs Rumor. You're not doing this again. Rumor punches the teacher in the balls. Teacher full-on smacks Rumor in the face. I guess we have found another being capable of summoning the gods of B.O. Rumor doesn't get up. The teacher got fired. A good read, but there's no real ending? Was Romer slain? No. Romer is a god, and you cannot kill a god.